You may have heard of NDT technology, and that's no drone technology. And here at Magnaflow, we've put this into a number of different applications, ranging from our newest series called Neo, our Overland series, and as well, we've put it into our XMOD systems out there. And what that is, it's a way to get high performance and get that wonderful sound, but not have that annoying drone built in. And what we've done with our NDT technologies incorporated into our XMOD universal muffler, which gives you a muffler for controlling sound and all the accessories from our quarter wave resonator to our NDT resonator, and even a turn down to see what it sounds like without all of that technology working and package it into one box. So anybody with a little bit of know-how can create their own system with Magnaflow sound, but no drone when they don't want it. So today we're spending some time with one of our builders here. We've got Jimmy Shine. We're here at Shine Speed Shop to talk about how we incorporated this and really almost a couple years ago when we first started testing all of this NDT with you. Well, this all came about, or, or my um, uh, introduction to it, in, in the hot rod world, we had we face this problem all the time. Yes. From the different engines, combustion, just the sound, the size of the cab, whatever it might be. We always, we're chasing this problem uh, with the drone. Yeah. That drone that just like numbs your teeth and shakes your eyes. My God, it's been, we've had some just horrific examples of that happen with our vehicles. And when we started working with this, I was absolutely blown away. If you remember that 33 Ford that You were chopped, a little skeptical even. I, well, we chased it. We did. I tried different mufflers, different sizes, all kinds of different stuff. And then when you brought this to my attention, we started playing with that. So we took this LS3 powered 33 Ford mm -hmm. coupe. And I mean, it was terrible. It was the worst. Our, our client, our customer, our friend just hated it. Beautiful car. Yep. Hated driving it. And then we start, you know, using this with, you know, as you described it to me, what is sound? Sound is vibration. Mm -hmm. So what we try to do here is negate that vibration and cancel it. This works. It was pretty interesting because like when we brought it here, I had to break it down to kind of the core of the technology. And the first thing we started with was just a quarter wave. We didn't even play with the mufflers because we already had a muffler set that fit in there. And that's a reality that we deal with is that the packaging, especially in the earlier classics, 30s and 40s cars, when it got small with the, you know, they, they started getting bigger in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, but when they were small, it wasn't a lot of room for the exhaust. So we worked with the most basic control system we had, which is the quarter wave resonator, and we put a little T in there, and uh, we just started lengthening the pipe until we hit that annoying frequency. We didn't have to use a sound meter. We didn't have to use any kind of new technology. We just used our oh, ears. Yeah, used our ears. That's the best sound meter you can use. Clamped on a different uh, piece, which the great part about the system is that, of course, like the J-pipe, you can clamp on the end cap. We have the, the different clamps you can use. And what we did is we just kept cutting that down mm -hmm. until we hit the right frequency. Or in the case of the lengthening the pipe, we could do that as well. And what we were doing there was creating that quarter wave resonator and finding out the frequency we didn't want so that it can reflect back and cancel it inside. And once we were able to kind of do that, we migrated to now using the different resonators that we had and then incorporating a bigger muffler too. And I think that was the fun part was figuring out now, once we kind of understood the technology, you were like, hey, I have another customer with another issue. And well, this has solved many of our problems, you know, cars that, you know, we sent down the road years ago. It's like, yeah. that's the best we could get out of it. However, learning this technology and being able to apply it, it's like making phone calls. Hey, you got to come back, check this out. Yeah, we've made a lot of our clients and customers real happy. And that's, I think, the biggest thing that we found is that there are ways to go back and take what we used to think was a loud exhaust meant you had to sacrifice comfort. You had that vibration that went through. God forbid you wanted to listen to a very nice stereo that you put into it. I'm, I'm kind of of that belief that this is my sound. But then there's those times you kind of want to mute that and go back to talking on your phone, uh, you know, listening to your favorite music as you're traveling down those longer roads rather than just, you know, going around the corner to your local car show. And we wanted to bring that experience back again. So you didn't have to tow it someplace because it was so uncomfortable because the original sound wasn't there. Well, that's just it. I, I like the sound externally on the car. When I'm inside, I don't want to hear any of it. Yep. None of it. And that's, this actually does that. And it's been pretty interesting too. I mean, we've gone through a number of different types of vehicles that maybe you might not think off the top of your bat we've been able to work with. Some the smaller 30s chassis into the 40s. I mean, what were some of the other examples that we went through? I can't remember them all. Well, it was that Model A truck right. uh, that we did. Being such a small cab mm -hmm. as well, on a small block Chevrolet, I mean, that, that car was probably the worst as far as that drone. It was miserable, absolutely miserable. So uh, that's, that's when we worked on it. I, I think I've still got pictures of that too. Yeah, and that was a very interesting design too because the packaging was like outside the frame rail. Then we had a cross back in the back of the vehicle with the crossover muffler. And there was just so many different things we had to do. Yet 
we were still able to incorporate some of the core technology we've put in Opox here with NDT to allow pretty much anybody, again, with a little bit of know-how to go back and in that custom application, put a system in that's not going to be annoying for them to drive every day. Absolutely. When you're looking at NDT technology, it is something that we can incorporate in just about any chassis. We do have it in some of our direct fit applications. However, this is a system that we've made specifically so that you can make your custom vehicle with all of that Magnaflow sound, but none of that annoying drone.